there's one island that has um, like this crazy hole in the ground that was made by pirates. These pirates went there and they built this elaborate trap. The legend of Oak Island is a timeless tale of buried riches, booby traps and intrigue. But there's a twist that sets it apart from other treasure hunts. The treasure's location is known. Yet despite this knowledge, it has proved impossible to extract. The challenge here is not finding it, but retrieving it. Countless attempts have been made, theories crafted and lives lost in pursuit of this elusive bounty. Even notable figures like Franklin D. Roosevelt, Errol Flynn and John Wayne have tried their hand at solving the mystery, but to no avail. Enter Joe Rogan, who has recently revealed some hard truths about this enduring mystery. What did he say and what does it mean for the future of the treasure hunt? Join us in today's video as we unveil the shocking truth that Joe Rogan has exposed about Oak Island. The Oak Island legend speaks of a 200-year-old treasure that has been buried on the island for centuries. This treasure is no ordinary hoard of riches. It's said to contain treasures once owned by Marie Antoinette, religious royalty and even the bard himself, William Shakespeare. It is also believed that it is Captain Kidd's lost treasure. The quest for the treasure has captivated explorers for generations, but the journey to uncover it is perilous. Hidden surprises and lethal booby traps litter the island, making the search for the treasure more challenging than anyone could imagine. Over the years, many seekers have risked everything in their pursuit of the elusive treasure, not only their wealth, but also their lives. The story began in 1796 when Daniel McGuinness, a young boy, noticed an unusual circular depression on the island's grounds. Fascinated by the tales of buried treasure, he and his friends began digging, uncovering flagstone at two feet below the surface, which fueled their desire to continue. As Daniel and his friends were digging, they noticed something strange. The walls of the pit they were excavating were lined with old pick and shovel marks. It was clear that the pit had been dug and filled long ago, but by whom? Since Oak Island is a small and remote place, there seemed to be no logical reason for anyone to dig such a deep and extensive pit, unless they were trying to hide something valuable at the bottom of it. And so began the search for Captain Kidd's lost treasure. However, after digging a massive 10 meter deep hole, equivalent to the height of a three-story building, there was still no sign of the loot. Unfortunately, the diggers didn't have the necessary time, tools or manpower to continue digging any deeper, and so they abandoned the massive hole in the ground, which became known as the Money Pit. Ten years passed before another group returned to Oak Island to resume their search for where Daniel and his companions left off. After the discovery of the Money Pit, the story of Oak Island's buried treasure had spread like wildfire, attracting treasure hunters from far and wide. One such group was the Onslow Company, who arrived in 1806 armed with pickaxes and shovels to continue the excavation. They hit layers of oak logs every 10 feet, and as they dug deeper, they discovered other strange layers of pudding, charcoal and coconut fibre. It was clear that someone had gone to great lengths to hide whatever was buried there. Eventually, they hit something solid. But when they pulled out a stone tablet with an inscription, the tunnel filled with water and flooded all around them. The Onslow Company struggled to stop the flooding, but to no avail. The members of the Onslow Company were clueless about who was responsible for the flooding and why it happened. Since the tunnel would fill up with water again during every high tide, the team eventually gave up on their search. Despite not finding the treasure, discovering the stone tablet was considered a significant discovery, and the Onslow Company decided to halt their efforts shortly after leaving the island. After this discovery of the stone tablet, a Halifax professor was able to translate the writing on it, revealing a tantalising clue to the treasure's whereabouts. The inscription read, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds buried. But the mystery of Oak Island's treasure didn't end there. According to legend, seven people would die before the true treasure could be found. So far, six have lost their lives in pursuit of the elusive bounty. While some are skeptical of this legend, it hasn't stopped people from searching for the treasure. There are many theories about what might be buried on Oak Island. Some believe that the island holds the lost manuscripts and earnings of William Shakespeare, or perhaps Francis Bacon. 
while others believe that Marie Antoinette stashed her riches there during the French Revolution. If both stories are true, the treasure on Oak Island would be worth a king's ransom. Some sailors even believe that famous pirates like Captain Kidd or Captain Blackbeard could be responsible for the treasure trove. And then there's the Freemason theory, which holds that Masonic imagery on the island points to a buried treasure belonging to the secret society. However, after 50 long years, a determined company from Toronto arrived on Oak Island in 1849 to continue the search for this elusive treasure. The Toronto company attempted to dig up the previously excavated pits, but were left disappointed when the pits flooded with water once again. But unlike their predecessors, the Toronto team noticed something strange. The water was slightly salty and seemed to ebb and flow with the tide. This was a major clue in the hunt for the money pit. After scouring the island, the team found the entrance to a narrow channel leading underground towards the treasure. This was the first sign of many mysterious and strange obstacles that lay ahead for the treasure hunters. Despite their best efforts, the booby-trapped flood system proved to be an insurmountable challenge for the Toronto company in their quest for the treasure. While it was clear that the pit on Oak Island held something of immense value, the intricate defences surrounding it made reaching the bottom nearly impossible. Despite their best efforts, the Toronto group's attempts to approach the pit from multiple angles were met with flooding and unexpected collapses, forcing them to abandon their pursuit of the treasure and leave Oak Island behind. For more than 170 years, adventurers and seekers have flocked to the shores of Oak Island, lured by the promise of the fabled wealth that is believed to be hidden in the depths of the money pit. Some have tried to outsmart the clever flood tunnel booby traps, while others have risked their lives digging shafts across the island, giving rise to eerie tales of a malevolent curse. Despite technological advances, such as the introduction of steam pumps in the 1860s and divers in 1909, the never-ending threat of floods has always managed to hinder the efforts of the treasure hunters. Even the old gold salvage group, who brought sophisticated equipment and divers to the island in 1909, ultimately failed to overcome the curse of Oak Island and returned home empty-handed. It's interesting to note that Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who would later become the President of the United States, was part of the old gold salvage group and was rumoured to remain intrigued by the Oak Island mystery for the rest of his life. Hollywood icons Errol Flynn and John Wayne also backed several expeditions financially. In the 1930s, two treasure hunters were supposedly instructed to report their discoveries directly to King George VI of England. Nevertheless, despite all of the attempts, the treasures hidden on Oak Island have yet to be uncovered. However, Joe Rogan, the popular podcast host, has also recently shared some intriguing insights about the mystery surrounding Oak Island. According to Rogan, the island's history is peppered with instances of people going broke in their quest to uncover the treasure. He further said that treasure hunters have encountered various traps and obstacles, making it a highly dangerous and challenging undertaking. Some have even lost their lives in the pursuit of this mysterious fortune. The booby traps and other obstacles are said to be incredibly intricate, and there is a belief that the people who buried the treasure were so clever that they devised a way to make it impossible for anyone to get their hands on it. However, as Rogan suggests, it is also possible that those who buried the treasure might have made a mistake in their efforts to keep it hidden. He also said that one of the most curious aspects of this legend is the fact that the treasure is believed to be so valuable that the island ownership has changed hands several times throughout history. And hunting for this buried treasure has become so popular that the History Channel has created a show about the island. It's called The Curse of Oak Island, and the show documents a group of explorers trying to get their hands on those riches. At the heart of the show are the Legina brothers, who have been on the hunt for the island's treasure since 1965. It all began with Rick Legina's fascination with Oak Island after reading an article in Reader's Digest. Little did he know that this article would change the course of his life forever. As soon as he and his brother were old enough, they began their search, driven by the hope of discovering the hidden treasure. Rick's passion for treasure hunting started at a young age. At just 10 years old, he led his brother and friends on a hunt for treasure underneath a huge boulder. Although they came up empty-handed, the thrill of the hunt ignited a fire within Rick that would never go out. From that day on, he knew that he was destined to be a treasure hunter. 
the Lajana brothers have had their fair share of discoveries while hunting for treasure on Oak Island, unearthing a plethora of fascinating items like old coins, military gear and even jewellery. Yet despite their tireless efforts, Captain Kidd's prized treasure has yet to be found, leaving one to wonder if it ever existed. It's important to remember that this tale is essentially a legend and many treasure hunters before the Lajanas have been unsuccessful in finding it. Joe Rogan himself has expressed curiosity about the show's lack of success, wondering how a team with such massive resources and 10 seasons under their belt still haven't uncovered anything. Could it be that the treasure is just a myth after all? While it's not entirely impossible that the treasure is hidden somewhere on Oak Island, the absence of concrete evidence makes it highly unlikely. But here's the thing. The mere fact that so many people have searched for it, including some famous personalities, only adds to the mystique and allure of the story. If it turns out that the treasure never actually existed, it would make for the ultimate prank in history, with countless treasure hunters digging up holes for no reason at all. So what are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments below.